Hi everyone! Today's art project we are going to make a shadow box. As you can see I've got a lot of stuff on the table. I've got a whole lot of old wrapping paper, things out of the recycling, plastic bags with patterns on it. I've got some coloured paper, I've uh, got different colours, I've got cardboard, I've got paints and I've got plain paper. So you're going to need to just collect up lots of different things to work with. Kind of like when we did the feathered bird artwork, it's nice to have lots of different materials to work with. So a shadow box is an artwork that is a little bit three dimensional. It's made with a box and it has some imagery and things in the back of the box and then we create a frame around the outside of it. So the whole box, the inside and the outside, is the artwork. So what I would recommend is finding a small box. We don't want it too big. A shoe box is probably about as big as you want to go. The bigger the box, the bigger the artwork and the more work you're going to have to put in. So I found this box is quite nice and plain, but it doesn't matter if you have got a box with lots of writing and things all over it because we're going to cover pretty much every single surface on your box. So once you've found your box, we're just going to need to cut it down to size. So you may be working with a box that's really wide and thick, and we actually don't want it too deep. Um, also, my box has got a lid on it, so I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, so your box needs to be not too deep. My box looks about uh, 8 centimeters deep. So that's probably about as deep as you want to go. You can always trim this down and make it a little bit skinnier if you want to. So while we've just got this plain box, we're going to create the outside frame to put on there before we get into all the fun and all the details and stuff on. So we're just going to put get a bigger piece of cardboard. Now I would recommend things like a cereal box is really good. Um, old packaging, like I've got this fantastic puff pastry cardboard and it's nice and flexible and really easy to cut. It doesn't matter if it's got patterns and things on it because we're going to cover that up anyway. So you can use this kind of cardboard but I would definitely recommend something easier to cut. So pop your box on top of your cardboard and just have a look at that and see if there is space around the edge because we want to draw around this so we're just going to draw around trace around your box on the cardboard so i've got the outline how big my box is and then outside of that we want to create a little edge a frame that goes around the outside of our box we want that to be wider than our box and we can also make that we can make it square we can make it lumpy we can make it like a cloud we can give it spikes we could give it curves and swerves so you can get creative with the shape that you want or you can just go plain square so what I'm gonna do is for mine I'm going to have the sides of it I'm going to do with a scallop. I'm just going to give it a little bit of an extra shape. There we go. Now we've got our square in there. Let's just cut this out. So cut that out. Now I can see my square line around the edge there and I'm actually not going to cut it the same size, I'm actually going to cut inside the line. So I'm going to draw a line, you could use a ruler which might be quite helpful. I'm just going to use a bit of cardboard that I've got and I'm just going to draw this a little bit inside here. So go about one centimeter in from the line that I've drawn. It doesn't have to be exact, just go in a little bit. And about the same amount around each edge. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to cut out this middle part here. So again we just get our scissors and make sure our finger is not behind. And we're just going to poke that through and then we can cut out the shape. 
easy way of doing this would just be to make it a, just a frame, a square, nice and simple, without all of the, mine's got all these lumpy, bumpy shapes. Just go with a plain square oblong shape. And then you can always add the other decorative shape on with your colored paper and other details. So if you want to keep it simple, just create an oblong frame without all of the lumps. So this is the frame and it's going to go on the outside of the box. Wow, look at that. That's going to look really cool. So it's framing whatever we're going to put on the inside of the box. Now we are going to decorate this frame beautifully. We are also going to decorate all inside the box. So here is the frame. So we're going to need this so you can put that to the side. You are going to also need another piece of paper and we're going to again trace around the box. We're going to trace around that on a new piece of paper. Doesn't matter what colour it is, can be plain, can be coloured, whatever you want. And we're going to cut this out. And this is going to be for the back of our box. Yeah. Now, that needs a little bit, it's a little bit too big, so we'll just trim it down a little bit more. All right, so there is the back of the box. So that is the size that we're going to need in behind there. So we can get that out. So this is going to be the artwork that we put in the back. This is going to be the frame that goes around the front. So we're just getting all of our pieces organized. And we need to do the same for these edges as well. Not so much the outside edge, because we can kind of work on that the inside edge we need to actually create those pieces so we're just gonna get our paper again you can use your box to help you trace the size so these are going to go in, inside here you're gonna need two sides and two tops once you've got one the right size you can use that to trace the other one And we need the tops now, so we're going to tip this over on its end, trace around, and just test that, yes, it's good, that fits nicely, and we need one more of these for the other end, excellent, so we have our four inside sides, and we have our main back piece, then we have our exterior frame. So once you've got all these pieces, then you can start thinking about what you want your shadow box to be about. So a shadow box usually has a theme of some sort. You may want to keep going with the self-portrait theme and make a shadow box about you or someone that you love or care about. It's a lovely gift as well. So we're going to work on making it to do with a person that you know or yourself. The box is going to be representing you or that special person. So inside the box is going to be um, an artwork that you're going to do, a painting or a drawing or a coloured pencil artwork or pastel artwork of the person that the shadow box is about. And that's going to go on this piece of paper here. Then the decorations and things that are going to be on the box are going to be themed around that person. So if you're doing it about yourself, you want to put things in your shadow box and on your shadow box that represent you, things that you like. What are your favorite colors? What's your favorite animal? Do you have a favorite flower? What sports do you like? Do you have a favorite food? Do you have activities that you like to do that you want to represent on here? Do you have a favorite pattern? So all of those kinds of things are going to be represented on the box about whoever the person is going to be about. So I'm going to do one about me, nice and easy, a self-portrait one. So I'm going to start working on the frame and I'm going to think about what colors I want on here and what designs I want on here. 
Now I might actually do, do a few more drawings, cut them out and stick them on. So it's a really nice idea. If you favourite and it's a cat that you might want to put a cat on there. If you love birds, you might want to put birds on there. So I'm just going to do some quick little drawings and then I'm going to put some colour on them either with colour paper or paints and then cut those out and they can add to the decoration of my artwork. I've created a couple of little birds which I think will look really nice flying along the frame. I really like birds but I also might make a couple of cats as well. And I've got two little cats and maybe some flowers might be nice as well. I've got some cats and I've got some birds that will need to be painted. I'm also going to make some things using my coloured papers. So I have some just old wrapping paper. It's got some really nice pictures and things on it. So I might cut some of these out and use some of these to decorate my... I think there's already got some nice birds on here, so we'll just cut these out. I could use magazines or old books might have some cool pictures and stuff in them or take pictures out of the newspaper or whatever. It's sort of like scrapbooking. Just find bits and pieces that you can use. So you can use things that you've found or you can use things that you are making yourself. Like I'm making some birds but I'm also using some elements from wrapping paper and old bits of recycling. So in my frame I might start putting some coloured paper and things onto here old wrapping paper. So I really like some blue so I'm going to have to try and make this shape that I've got here. I can just pop this on, trace around it. Now this is where if you've just done a square one it would be a lot easier. You should always do the patterns with the paper and other decorations. Now it's all about layering as well. So we don't just want to have things really plain. We want to try and add detail just the same as when you're doing scrapbooking. You're always trying to add detail and through layering and texturing. So this is the old floristry wrap a really nice material that you can add on. So I'm just going to cut some strips of this. Tin foil is another one, gives you a lovely silvery look. Or the inside of a chip bag, you're going to get that really nice silvery effect. So try to think outside the box, what have you got lying around your house in your recycling bin, in your wrapping paper bag that you could use. And then we might want to do a different colour on the top, or we might want to match it. I think we're going to match the top to the bottom. So we'll just trace this. Now we might make some little flowers out of our colour paper. Cut our circle, fold it in half. don't have colour paper you could just draw and paint a whole lot of beautiful flowers. So it doesn't have to be made out of coloured paper. You can you could get your whole frame and just paint your whole frame in your own designs. Just like we did with our self-portrait frame where we painted and drew all of our beautiful flowers and patterns and birds and things. So you can do exactly the same thing with this frame as well. It doesn't have to be made with these materials. It's just whatever you've got to work with.
there is the beautiful frame that's going to go around the outside of the box. So that is going to go on to here. And it's going to frame whatever we put inside there really beautifully. So that's the end of part one. Hopefully you will have been able to create a beautiful frame that fits onto your box and cut the pieces of paper that you'll need for the inside parts of your box that we can work on in part two. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.